I don't care if you throw 100 miles an hour. I don't care if you throw 120 miles an hour. There's a catcher behind home plate, and that catcher catches that ball every time with a glove. Only thing I did was change the object from glove to a bat, and all I gotta do is catch it. And where was your, <laughs> where, where was your sweet spot right here then in this bat? I was always you. right here. It's always right in the zone. Right there, in your area? Right there. But I don't like this, I don't like this. I like right here. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's the barrel right there. And I practice that every time in the cage. And if those marks are anywhere here, my technique is off. This has to become extension to my arm. If well, this doesn't become an extension to me, if we can't become one, then there's a problem. It's like golf, you know, when you get that little right. driver in your hand or you get a little sand wedge, and I ain't no golfer, so, and you just take this nice, easy swing and you just chip it, then all of a sudden you get that driver in your hand, all of a sudden you want to do all this, yeah. and everything breaks down. That's a problem. It's a problem. All I did was not break down the problem. What are your three keys of hitting? Three keys, if you have to go three keys, where, where are they hitting? Keeping your hands up is very important. Staying short and balanced. Your hands up, short and balanced. That's what keeps everything straight.